Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Prison Architect. It is a sleepy, calm night. Everyone has their Z's going on. Everyone except Mr. Hale. 38. Probably digging. Gang guy. 80% chance to reoffend. We gotta work on reoffending rates, right? I wanna have a really low one. Take a look at prison grading. Right now, our prisoner uh, reoffending rate is just 0%. Isn't that nice? Maybe we don't have to work on that rate after all. I hadn't actually looked at it uh, before I said that. I just assumed it was like, you know, 4 or 5% like it normally is. But these guys are not the maximum security guys, right? These guys are... These guys are a little bit more tame for now. We're going to get the more dangerous ones in, all right? But for now, I got to get a grasp on money, and then we're going to expand super rapidly. So let's get started on that. The, the goal for today's video is to do two things. One, expand, right? Bring more people in. Uh, but the second thing is to pay off the debt, right? The debt is at 50000 I want it at zero. So let's make sure we get that sorted off because we're currently paying $2,500 a day in interest. First thing we're going to do to do that is we're going to speed up time and wait for the short-term investment to be done. Now, two things are going to happen when that's done. First is uh, this grant gets sorted out and it's done. We get uh, $16,000 as our completion bonus. So it's $11,000 of profit. But the second thing that'll happen is that we can now accept another grant, which means uh, more money given to us again. So let's get the Carpentry Apprenticeship one. Go ahead and pause it. $16,000 for that given to us. That's $11,000 of profit. Long-term investment could be done anyway, uh, and we could do that. But instead, I'm going to do Carpentry Apprentice. It gives us $10,000 advance. Okay, now we're at fifty-one k. Now, I could take that $51,000 and pay off this entire debt and not have any more debt and be left with just a mere one hundred and forty-eight. But... I actually want to complete some of these objectives. In order to do that, I have to reform them through education, I say. Now, we have everything in place to do this. We're just kind of waiting on people to pass the class. And that's why it takes a long time to do this. But the cell block C thing, that's not going to take care of itself. So let's focus on that. Now, my initial plans for this, let's just let it run. My initial plans for this are to have three different security levels active in the prison at one time. This is something I don't normally do. My other prisons, we start with medium, and eventually we transition to maximum, and then eventually the entire prison is nothing but maximum. It actually makes it easier to manage a prison if it's all maximum, because you don't need to set up different regimes for different rooms. There's nobody sharing things. It doesn't matter where people go. In this case, people are going to need to be segregated, and that includes protective custody, which is going to come in, I assume, in all three security levels i assume maybe criminally insane don't have protective custody i'm not sure how this works so we're gonna look at that too i'm also not sure they're using the common room i have yet to see any of them use this facility and they have free time two uh four hours of dedicated free time i'm not seeing them use this so i'm gonna keep an eye on this maybe i just haven't noticed it because i've been off doing other things but if they're not using this, this is going to become cell space. Because, like, if you're not using it, like, whatever. Uh, so, yeah, a medium security, I'm thinking I want to expand it this way. And just off the top of my head, this is sort of my workflow. Uh, or sort of my layout. We got our criminally insane wing up here. We've got the medium security is going to go along this area here. And then the rest of this is going to be max. And then if we do expand, it'll probably be across the road because that's also a fairly easy thing to manage as, as opposed to going down or up. And um, when we go across the road, we'll probably transition all of the criminally insane to be across the road in their own separate facility. Because I, I think that also makes more sense that we would have a dedicated facility for them. But for now, we just have this. And I also need to get them their own canteen so they don't have to come through here. Um, the more the the ideal situation uh, for security wise is that this ends up being uh, staff only, right? This little section here ends up being a staff only area, and that locks in these guys. Like they're they're going to stay in their own section all the time, right? But right now, I just need to make sure that these guys can move through it, and no one else can get up into their wing. That's that's where we're at right now. So cell block C. What are we going to do? Let's take the cloning tool. Make sure we're cloning all this. We're going to come down all the way down here. 
And uh, we're going to grab this and grab this. Now, if my math is correct, and it, it may be, I believe that gives us a cell capacity of 91. So we're still going to need another nine cells, unless my math is off. But I think we're going to still need another nine cells. No big deal. That only costs us a little bit of cash. And we're already getting close to capacity. I think eventually these guys will be maximum security. But for now, we've got that. What I want to do instead is we're going to come over here and expand on the criminally insane wing. Because that's a pretty easy thing to do. And it's a fairly straightforward layout too. So let's go more layout. And we're going to come up to about, I think here. Just a straight, just, just a straight bit here uh, from, from this wall. So right about here. That's $8,000 also down. Now, the dog routes is going to have to be changed. And this guy's pissed off because of warmth. He has no place warm to go. Hmm. Perhaps that's... Th Those are the three people that have serious complaints. Right? It's a warmth need from the dog handlers. Uh, that's it, though. So when they come in for their breaks, they're going to come all the way down to this staff room. Do we want a second staff room? This is always that... There's always that... I, I don't know about always, but there was a debate before. And I feel like there's, there's still this ongoing debate as to whether or not having multiple staff rooms actually screws you over. Because, you see, they'll take breaks and they'll move between staff rooms. And the AI wasn't smart enough, at least before, to do it right. And so you'd end up having people grab snacks here and then want to walk all the way over to the other bench to sit down, even though there was perfectly, like there was enough space to sit down here. They would still want to do that. And then if their break ended, which it often did, in transit, not only are they wasting that time moving around to get to the other break room, but sometimes their break would even end in transit, and then ultimately they would just drop their tray, and the tray would sit. Like, you'd have this row of trays, right, that would that would appear in the prison. So I, I think generally having one big staff room is usually better than having many small ones. But the downside is, especially when we start getting over here, that unless that staff room is really centrally located, it's it's going to be really hard for people to get over. Uh, I think we mitigate that risk a little bit by simply having our policy be really high on how many people can take breaks at once. And we can even jack that up to like 92 or something. So if you need a break, you can take one. There's not really that much of a restriction on who can take one and when. We got these guys using our staff-only toilets, and I do need to redesign these rooms so they are not perfectly square. Uh, and probably would just bring the staff room. I think bring the staff room over here. But um, I'm also kind of I'm kind of stalling right now. One, because I need this built. Oh, hello. Hang on, maybe I don't. Um, doors. Let's just put a simple door here right now. I don't need anything complicated because this is eventually going to open right up. Um, I also want to take a look here really quick. So you guys are going to go eat now. I want to make sure that their path, they don't they don't cross like these guys ever. Like right? these guys shouldn't be in the same area as these guys. These cells are also getting formed. This means we open up basically a place for all of these guys to go. This should no longer be red once this operation is done. And actually, once this wing is done, um, we should then get that other grant. And with that grant money, we can then tear down the, the loan. I think pretty big because we can take more intake here right the the criminally insane prisoners intake those pay us a lot three thousand dollars per is a lot so if i take like uh, i don't know what the capacity will be here i guess it's uh what 24 in this little wing here so if i take 24 of these guys that's seventy-two thousand bucks right there right it's gonna be a lot of money and that'll pay off everything. The, qu the question is, though, whether or not that's going to be financially viable uh, moving forward because I don't have enough orderlies or anything like that. So I still need to expand my, my staff and stuff when we do that, too. And I'm wondering, actually, how much money these guys give you. I know how much they give you on intake, but how much do they give me on an ongoing basis? Does it say that in my evaluation or my finances at all? It just says federal grant and prisoner grant, right? The, the, the prisoner grant is what I'm being paid total for prisoners. So I suppose we could math it out. 
and see how much these guys are worth per day. Because I don't think it's worth... It's not worth the 3,000 per day. That's just the intake of what they're worth on intake. I don't know what they're actually worth per day. I wish I could break that down. Which, we could math it out, right? So if my next intake... If we're making 16,500. If my next intake is 25 prisoners, then whatever this number... Wherever it is. Whatever this number jumps up to... Because I think they'll they'll itemize intake, right? Maybe not. We, we Maybe we have to wait an extra day. But whatever this number jumps up to, that's how much extra money I'm getting in income per day. And then we could math that out to see what the increase was divided by 25, right? So that's good. And then we could see whether or not that's worth it because we're going to have to hire orderlies, right? And those costs per day. Staff, you can break down. Each one of them, you hover over top of them, it says how much they give you per day, right? I don't know if it says that for prisoners. Does it say that per prisoner? Or is it just like a known thing? Is it known? It is known. I watched that the other day. It's good. It's good. What a good show. What a good show. I've also started watching... Not started watching. I actually stopped watching and I regret it and I want to continue watching. A show called The 100. It's pretty, it's pretty good. It starts off a little bit kind of like... Uh, I don't know if this show is going to be good or not. And then it kind of gets... I mean, it's very predictable. If you're one of those people who like to to not know what's going to happen before it happens, and you're good at, like, predicting things like that, like like I am, granted, most of mine has to do with, like, how it's how the production is made because of being a filmmaker. But, um, like, if you're one of those people who can guess things all the time, then that show is probably not for you if you want to be surprised because it's it's actually pretty predictable but i i was getting enjoyment out of it anyway for a while and um i kind of stopped watching it to start watching the office because uh, i had i've seen bits and pieces of the office over over time but i'd never actually watched the whole thing and like you know got the whole experience from day one all the way to the very last episode and a lot of people on the uh, um, on the film pr production that I was working on, they were making lots of office references. My brother included, uh, were making a lot of office references, and I, I like, I knew that where they were from. I, I got the gist of it. That yeah, you guys are talking about the office, but I didn't really know the context, and so I couldn't like do that, do it back. You know, it's one of those things where like you can speak that language if you hear it, but you can't talk back. I, we have that too, right? When you're trying to learn a foreign language, it's some someone like your your you're able to understand it when you're spoken to, but you can't really speak it back very well. And that was kind of how it was with The Office for me. I was able to understand what they were doing, and I thought I pretty much could figure out the context. But because I hadn't actually watched the show myself, it was... Um, I don't know why this isn't done yet. Right here. This needs finished, guys. Come on. Because I hadn't watched the show myself, it became one of those things where... I couldn't reference it myself. So anyway, I stopped watching the hundred, uh, the one hundred, and I started watching The Office. Finished that, and then right before I started like watching the one hundred again, uh, I got my wife and I watching The Blacklist. So that's another good show. I, I recommend The Blacklist for sure. It's pretty fun. It's it's really nice. So anyway, a little off on a little tangent there. I don't know if you guys like me talking about stuff in my life. Uh, just let me know. Otherwise, we'll we'll keep it strictly on the game. Okay, just stick to the game, streamer. I'm here to watch Prison Architect and nothing else. Okay, okay, I got you. I understand. Gotcha. Uh, patrols, dogs. We don't need dogs in here anymore. So this can go, or it can't. I have to select Blue Patrol to make it go away. Okay, or it can't. So there's that, and this can go away too. So this stuff now needs to be expanded. We can just bring it over here, I guess. Yes. Uh, let's get this down, bring this over, and down, and there. So these dog routes will now just sort of get covered by the dogs all around the building. And now this is done. With this done, we want to dismantle this. And demolish this wall here. And demolish this wall here. Okay. Now what I want to do is... Uh, you know, cameras would be good. But I think before cameras, uh, lights. <laughs> lights are probably good. Actually, no. The lights will... Well, we need the lights in the hallways, though. I'm going to put one here and put one here. 
put one uh, here and put one here. At least gives us a little bit of light in these hallways. Then, with that done, you know what? Why don't we just do this? Does this work? Like this, you can clone a lot of stuff now, can't you? I wonder if we'll crash the game if we clone too much at one time. Let's grab this and we'll stick this right here, I think. We could just also make this one big wing, but I kind of like the idea of having them have a sort of walkway in between, right? So I think we're going to do that instead. I don't know if it needs to be such a big walkway. One. Let's pause it really quick. One. Uh, oh, there's also a... Mm, yeah, okay. We could do this, but... Eh, like a big walkway in the middle. I kind of like it. Having this big walkway in the middle. I do. I, I think I want it. Let's, let's do it. Right there. Now that is a lot of money. Look at that. But our, oh my god, never mind. <laughs> yes, please look at that. That's a lot, actually. We may need to take another loan. But look at our capacities going up. Our early prisoner releases are saving my ass. Good. Good. Release them early. It's fine. It's all fine. How many prisoners? 42 normal. We had 50 for a while, right? And now we're down to 42. 32 criminally insane. I wonder if any of these guys ever get released early. I mean, they're criminally insane. And it looks to me like they're sentences. Yeah, I want to see if any of them are eligible. Like, you're eligible for parole pretty quick here, Christopher Welch. But you have a 52% chance of reoffending, so you're not going to be able to get that. And then they're probably going to kick off 2%. Andrew Edwards. Okay. And look, you guys do. Kitchen hygiene, safety, psychiatric consultation. But you, you are. Kitchen safety and hygiene. So you do work. I wasn't sure if the criminally insane people would work. But they, they do. Because, I mean, I, I think they do. They have reform programs like kitchen safety. So I think they actually do. Uh, well, maybe not. Because remember how some of them converted? Right? They were normal and then they converted to being crazy. So I think possibly with the criminally insane, if they converted, it, it, they may have taken the program before they converted. And then now they're, they don't work. I wanted to take a look at that and see. So, do they... I missed their free time. We need to focus on their free time next time. Around 7 o'clock or so. I want to see if any of them use this room. Because I, I keep missing it. I keep... You know, they, they keep going through and I don't see it. Okay, cells are done, but they don't have water. Pause it. Let's see. How are we doing the water? Well, same way as we did the other water, Pinky. Ah, uh, Freaking gang members you go over here go go you know what go go to another one of these cells go to this cell uh, go to go to that cell just just go away somebody somebody make him go away go this way here this way here another gang member cell all right you i want you to go here just switch cells i've already i've already prompted this to happen so if you could get go in this cell that'd be great yeah yeah take him to this one perfect now that i've already told them to to install that i could do this that works i like that too okay so now we want to go maybe right up the middle this is a long pipe though let's take the long pipe we have here and bring it over like this we can go about like this maybe just around like, make it a, a, a round like this. It's not a big deal. I'm all right with that. Then go here. Then go here. Then go up. And then over like this. That works for me. And then the water boiler stuff. We need we need warm. Uh, we need it to be uh, warm in here. So I'm thinking water boiler right here on this little edge. That's probably a pretty good idea. And then does it reach over here? Is it going to reach... It looks like this one reaches over... Well, you got that one. This one is reaching all the way to here. So I imagine it probably does. Oh, no. We're actually not reaching all the way over there. We're going to need another one. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, let's try this then. 
this pipe here. Let's extend it and go along the wall instead. Like that. And then we can put the water boiler right here on the edge here. I think that will reach. Double check. That is outside. It's right next to this classroom. We'll stick the water boiler right there. Right next to that classroom. And then the hot water from that boiler can go through here. Through here again with the gangs not letting me do things in their cells. All the way like this. And then straight from there. So that can be how we handle that. I'm actually good with this being on a separate tile since if I ever want to re renovate this stuff. Oh, that's bad. We are now negative money. We're going to start losing our credit. We have to increase our loan. I can't I can't have a negative. I don't want to have negative credit. So, uh, yeah, we're really going to need this big intake. I, th I still think it's fine. I know we're 75,000 in debt, but I still think it's fine because this is going to tick. It's going to give me 20K. I can then pay, all that, pay that back off. Uh, and then when we do the criminal intake, the insane intake, right? It'll, uh, that'll work then too. So all of these are, I think all of these are cells. Some, for some reason, this one's not built. Is that, you are prompted to be built, right? I mean, like you're, I mean, I, I directly copied this. Same thing with you. Hmm. Because these are done. You know? These are done. Maybe that's just an old... I don't know. These cells are just not done. But, alright. Maybe it's just an old layout, an old template? I don't I don't, I don't, don't really get it. Uh, make it a cell. I don't know why I can't do that. What is going on here? What's going on with you? Huh? Why can't I make that a cell? That specific tile, I can't make a cell. Is it already a cell? No. I don't know. That's pretty weird. You know? If I go to cell status, these are not considered cells, right? We have cells all occupied here. There's one spare here. Tons of spare cells here, and they look like they're... Uh, they're not done yet. They're going to get done, but they're not done yet. What's this? Oh, you know what I screwed up just now? Hang on. Deployment. This is all of here, but I think I... I screwed up the canteen mess with them? Wait, why were those guys not able to get to a canteen? You guys can walk through here still. I didn't mess with that part. Was it just the labeling of it being for criminally insane only? Possibly, I guess. We're also going to need to get hot water over here. So this is probably my solution for this. We're going to take this hot water pipe and just extend it all the way over. Same thing with this. We'll extend it all the way over. And then we'll pop a water boiler kind of over here. And then I need this, this big pipe here, which is kind of a risk to do this. But I need this big pipe to go like this. And we could pop a water boiler along the wall over here. Just anywhere is fine. But then this can connect to the rest of these pipes. Right? So like this. And it'll come all the way down like that. And that way, all of this stuff becomes in range. Right? We won't have to worry about it not being in range anymore. Same thing with the small pipes. They need to be extended too. Like that. And then it comes down from this to that. And then, you know what? Why not? Why not? We just can connect this, too. That's fine. All right. We're spending a lot of money, man. For someone who says he wants to get out of debt, we're certainly spending a lot of a lot of cash. You have to, though. You got to expand to get that, that cell block C. So, 89 is our capacity until the workmen finish. Do we want more workmen? Oh, somebody made a great comment. I, I don't know. Like, this is what happens when you... Oh, my God. Look at these cells. Look at these cars. Look at these trucks. We need more. We need more uh, staff. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. This is what happens when you take a break, right? You play a game for a while. You get good at it. You get your knowledge up or whatever. Then you take a break. You play a whole bunch of other games that all have that all have like different rules and they're all fun and all that stuff. And then you come back to this. And sometimes you you forget the little nuances, you know? 
the little things. You forget them. Whoa, frame rates. What in the world? Frame rates? Hello? What is... This is like two frames a second right now. Oh my god, what is happening? Save? I think my whole computer is crashing right now. What is this? I can't even save. Oh my god. We're going two on this. Save? Save? Yes? Please? Please override? Uh, I'm rebooting the game. Yeah, I might have to reboot the game. I don't know what's going on here. But this, the the frame rates just died. Just, just died. You know what this is, though? It's probably deliveries is being full. Wow, look at this. This is horrible. Can you see this? this is, it's got to be showing up on video, right? The frame rate's absolutely atrocious, and I don't know why. I mean, like, yeah, we have an escape, um, but I, I guess it's this wall. It's this wall. Orderlies are chasing him over the fence. Apparently, this wall is not... Uh, Oh, it's because I copied the blueprint, so they deleted this wall. <laughs> That's good. Um, can we go ahead and get that wall done? But, like, what just happened? Why is the performance so bad? We're going to save this again. I'm going to reload the game and see if that fixes the performance, because this is unplayable right now. This is almost as bad as we had at Gang War 2. Actually, this is kind of what Gang War 2 was. Well, ultimately why we stopped Gang War is because it was like this and it's not fun. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to reboot this game. I have no idea why it's doing this. Okay, everything's fixed now, right? The performance is back to being the way it should. I don't know what was going on back there, but something just hit it and just killed all the performance. That was nuts. Uh, so this was a mistake. Should have cloned everything except the Slayer of Wall. Because, I mean, the layer of wall is already included. I just sort of wanted the lights to be in there. And that's kind of why I did that. But now we have this, op this this gaping hole right here. And so we need to cover that in too. So I have the workmen being told to prioritize this. Whether they will do it or not, I, I, I don't know. I told them to. Can you please do that? Thank you. And that will lock the prisoners back into the cells from whence they came. Uh, so anyway, I was saying, you forget the little nuances, and one of the comments said, you should get a storage area. And that will stop the workmen from, like, being way outside the fence. Storage! Yeah, I just, like, need that, and I just didn't have it, right? So, um, yeah, storage room. Let's put it here, I guess. We'll put storage. I mean, you don't need a dedicated room for it, to be honest. We could actually even... Put deliveries outside still and then make this storage. We probably should, actually. Let's make this deliveries. Sorry, let's make this storage. Right? And then deliveries can go here. For a bit. That's probably better. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. So anyway, they should be able to unload these trucks now uh, and then get the hell out of here because there's actually this big delay now on, like, they're backed up in traffic because of this. And that's probably what's delaying all of this stuff from being done because the stuff's got to come in on trucks, right? So, okay, so this is a storage room now and this is deliveries now and hopefully that fixes the workmen thing. Um, what, another thing I haven't seen working right now I, I haven't seen it anyway, is that's that's the mail room. Maybe there's mail coming in on some of these trucks. I know staff meals are coming in, and if you delay staff meals, it's really bad. You do not want to run out of staff meals in here. Because that's uh, it just, it escalates, you know? It just escalates to the point where you can't keep up. Even if you, even if you try to keep up, even if you get meals back, it's hard to keep up. Let's go ahead and connect that. Now, I am concerned that our power situation is getting out of hand as well. And also, I want to go like this because I think these offices don't have power. Yeah, I don't think there's not even... I mean, there's power to this light, and that's kind of all he needs, but... Eh. We need it also extended this way. So down this hallway, down this hallway with the power. 
So I think it's probably time now to look into a second power station. Let's do that after we get the cell capacity so we can pay off some of our debts. I'm going to wait for that. Yeah, this, this is totally not a cell. Very weird. So we're going to grab this. And, uh, whoops, we just probably just do this part. Um, quick build, clone. And go like that. Yeah. And then like this. I'm not sure why it's not a cell. Because I thought I cloned it directly from this. And these are cells. So, I mean, we, I know I had comments about that too. Guys, you're going to see certain things aren't the way that you would have them, right? <laughs> By the end of a video. It doesn't mean I don't know it exists. Although there are some times, like the storage room, where I didn't know. And there are times when, like these cells not being a cell, I will figure it out. I will see it. Maybe even in the same video. Probably in the next video. I record multiple videos in one sitting, so it can happen. It's okay. The back seating can... You can, you can just... Ah, take a chill pill. <laughs> take a chill pill. You guys are going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. It's not like I have, you know, a thousand hours in this game, right? sarcasm all right so let's take the power station and probably plan it out to be five by five so we can probably bring it up here i want the power station to have sort of like a dedicated this power is for these guys kind of thing so if i bring it like this that power station can go there now we're gonna need another one down here eventually too and i'll probably put it right here outside the road on the outside is that is that wise it's probably not i don't know if it matters we could always put it down here too or maybe right here it fits right here but then the the fire department can't get there quickly so we'll have to always make sure that it has more capacity than it needs because these things won't blow until you get to this hash mark right as soon as you cross this hash mark there's a low chance for it to blow. And the higher you get, the more chance there is to blow. Now, if you're like, well, I don't have this hash mark, it's probably because you don't have all the capacitors. If that's the case, just look for a hash mark that's like 80% high, 75% up. Um, but if you keep it under this one, it's, it's a 0% to, to blow. It won't blow. Even with like the random events and stuff, it, it won't blow up. But we, I wasn't paying attention to it before, and that's why we've had one power outage. And now that I'm expanding these cells, and we're going to be powering these lights, this is going to probably go over that mark, and I can't expand anymore. So uh, that's why I'm thinking of another power, about another power cell here, another power station here, and then this whole wing, the whole criminally insane wing, can be powered by that. I just really, really need to pay this off. There it is, 20,000. Ah, uh, yes. Let's get rid of some of this. We don't we don't want to have as much interest as possible. The cell block D gives us an advance. So we'll take that. We're at 20 grand now. So these prisoners they're no longer in the holding cell. So let's take some prisoners. Let's take some these cells are going to get finished pretty soon. So we'll take 24 of these. But I'd also like to take a few more medium security. So let's take... Uh, I don't know. Let's take like 35. And we'll try to make sure that of the 35, only t uh, at most uh, 11 of these... Right, We want we want 11 of these to be... Because I want to fill these cells. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So let's back off a tad. You're taking the wrong prisoners, guy. Uh, we can actually do it this way. So this... This won't fill the cells. It'll give us a little bit of cushion in case some of these guys convert, though. So let's take this intake today. That's a big intake. Some might even call it insane. But... But... It's going to get us a lot of money. And virtually eliminates all of... It does. It eliminates all of our debt. Plus, we have like 50 grand extra. Which is the point. Because I have another thing I would like to do, actually. Let's... You know what? Let's take a few more. Let's... Let's go nuts. Let's take a little bit more. Let's go... Like... This. 
44, 94 grand. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 15 on this is uh, 34 plus it ends up being 29, too many. Let's increase the number of medium security until we get to, what's the number I'm looking for, 24? So I need 20 of these guys. So it needs to be like that, 82 grand, okay. 82 grand, we will fill these cells. And the, the, uh, the object is to pay off this, plus have a little bit of extra money to get this, the offshore tax haven. That'll save us a ton of money too. So we wanna look at that. Oh, and then there's another group of prisoners we need. Because criminally insane, medium and maximum, that's not enough for the complexity of this prison. Oh, no, 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 no. We have to create even more complexity. So we're also going to go with death row as well, obviously. <laughs> we need to have death row too. It's a very dark subject, right? I've said it in my other prisons. It's a very dark subject, but this game presents death row in, a, in as lighthearted of a way as it's possible to do, I think. And mostly it has to do with the graphic style. But it's it's fairly low. It's 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 fairly lighthearted. You can't do that with. I mean, it's it's a subject that you just can't be lighthearted with. But they did their best. Okay, it's a dark thing in real life and in the game. Let me take a look at cell status really quick. Make sure we even have enough for this. So I am taking twenty regular sec. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So there will be seven in the holding cell. There are six beds. Ah, close enough. <laughs> Poor guys. We'll we'll make an extra we'll make an extra cell. Maybe we'll stick one right here or something. But um, we should be alright. It should be fine. Uh, and then this whole wing here. We actually have one occupied, but all of these are free. So there is still room for the others too. So we're going to be good. $82,000 in prisoner intake. Pause it. Pay this off. We have $76,000 left. Pay this off. We have $51,000 left. Are you seeing where I'm going with this? I hope you are. Ready? And bam. Offshore tax haven, baby. So now we have no debt. And we're getting really great tax rates once that's done. The only thing left to do now is to make sure we can actually afford to care for this many people. And until these trucks move, we don't have to care for anyone. So let's get a few more workmen here to help manage this if they can. Hopefully take things off the truck so we can go. Sometimes these trucks glitch out. Like the drivers don't take stuff off of them and it just requires the workmen to do it. A lot of times the drivers will be the one un unloading their trucks, but until one extra workman decides to do this, like I can't do anything until a workman comes and does this. And I can't manually manage them. So there he goes. Now these guys will get out, bring down the deliveries, and the drivers will start helping out with it. Perfect. Now the traffic can flow. Oh, good. Which means... Our prisoner buses can start coming in any second. There they are with all of our all of our prisoners. Now, it doesn't matter if I operate at a deficit right now, all right? So we're going to lose money a lot right now. And that doesn't matter because we're not going to lose our credit rating at all for being in, de in deficit while we don't have a loan, right? We have the accountant. We can go negative. But with early prisoner releases, we're kept in the black if you will, or in the yellow, I guess. These are these cells aren't done yet, though. They gotta hurry up. Let's go, let's go. We do have some people, so like, this little, like, it's, it's almost pastel in a way. This sort of like highlighted, shaded interface. This isn't the game saying that this isn't like all done yet. It's just saying that your design has something that's missing still. So the whole design looks like this. CCTV monitor. How many are you monitoring? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you're full. 
you are monitoring one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Damn. All the cameras are full. Which means we need another one of these bad boys right there. Let's get him a chair. And we're going to start hooking that up. Because we're going to need cameras down here, too. In fact, I want it, I want it right now, actually. So um, let's grab CTTV. And we're going to grab... We can monitor this from here. That camera there. And then I think I also want to see inside these classrooms as well. Um, if I put this camera here... Oh, my dog's barking. It's going to be... It's going to be noisy. You ready for it? My dog cannot... She can't. She can't have it. It's, it's she's like no no peace and quiet no harmony all right there will be none of this harmony stuff you know what? let's do this i'm gonna put the camera there if it can see through walls still we should still get vision of these two rooms right so we'll see how it goes i suspect i don't know of this i suspect that if these were two walls this thing would just stop it wouldn't actually cycle back and forth because there would be walls there but I don't think it'll act that way with the shop shelves. We'll see. We got people going into the class. What's the chances of success here, huh? 0%. Okay, good. 0%. Awesome. Concentration, bad. Understanding, good. Understanding, excellent. What affects your concentration? I assume it has to do with being suppressed. His current situation is he's slightly suppressed, but he is well fed. At least he got that going. But he's a little bit suppressed. He's already taken the program once and he failed. He's coming back to take it again. I like your enthusiasm, but I really need you to pass. RNG be with us. Is this all there is? Just these two? That doesn't seem great. Oh, is this done? Yes, okay. Take this, connect to that one, that one, and that one. And I probably will eventually reroute these so that these monitors are all kind of organized in groups. So, like, you don't have, like, this here where it's monitoring that one and also these two. That doesn't make any sense. So, I'd probably have this one be exclusive to these. And then this one can come down and do these. And then this one can come down and do these. You know, we'll be more, we'll be more um, organized later. I know security looks like it's a perfect square, but it's actually not. This wall comes up one and over, okay? So these are actually not perfect squares. This is a wall, all right? It comes up to here. So these... Okay, this room... This room is a perfect square, okay? But this one is not, okay? All right, all right, good. Now we got that out of the way. I wanted to expand my infirmary too, but I need to make sure we can actually handle this many prisoners. We got a huge group of people coming in here. Wait, are you? The trees are, ah, oh, the trees are on the path. That's not what I wanted. Get out of here. Go on, go on trees. Oh, that's not what I wanted. See, I saw the 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 sapling right it, it's placed here so i thought the stump would grow here but that's just the middle of the square so what i need to do actually is move it to where the the sapling is facing like way up here and then when the graphics come in it'll be in the right spot all right let's cut these down excuse me why are you punching my tree all right only my workmen are allowed to punch trees not you scott stone lake Not you. I think it's getting to be about time to... Wait, why are there no lights in these cells? Right, we gotta go up here. Uh, you need power. Stretch this down like this. And uh, bring this up and over. That'll actually be fine. We don't need this to be in there. So just this will be fine. Right? Not even that. We could just line it up like that. But uh, we, we need this power station now, I think. So do I need another loan for the power station? We also need more meals prepped, too. We're not feeding prisoners enough. 
Well, maybe we are. The timings on these are staggered, so we can have medium security helping to cook for the criminally insane. Maybe we need more tables? Let's let's take a look at it. What's he doing? He's like punching, but he's punching the air. Did he used to be a boxer? Tom Herford. Were you a boxer? Are you like are you imagining you're back in the ring? Get him! Yeah, yeah, you gotta win the fight so you can get that ring. Huh? Get the title belt. The gold title belt. That's the luxuries he's thinking of. Oh boy. We actually have a problem here. I need more orderlies. 13 orderlies is not enough to handle this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. Insufficient funds. Oh, good. We're broke. That's a good place to end the episode, isn't it? Broke. Darn it. I have more money. Hold on. I want to end the episode broke. Here. Oh, my God. Here. More orderlies and uh, more guards and uh, one more cook. There. I'm broke now. All right. We'll end the episode here. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. If you like the videos, leave a thumbs up. If you like being broke, be sure to comment down below and tell me your best I was broke story. What kinds of things did you do when you were broke? All right. I don't mind if they're dirty stories, but, you know, let's let's at least keep it safe for YouTube. All right. It doesn't have to be safe for kids because these videos are not made for children, YouTube. But everything else, you know, just just tell me all your stories. Give me in the, give me in the comments. And I'll see you next time. It's been fun.